John Morant returned to the Memphis Grizzlies recently and dropped 34 points on the Pelicans, hitting a game winner. It's clear, even after a long time away from the team, Ja has not lost one step. So today, we're going to be trying to help Ja and the Grizzlies bounce back from their time of struggle that they had when Ja was out of the lineup due to suspension. I mean, right now, we sit in an 8-18 eight and 18 record, and we're going to be trying to rebuild this team, make them better, and ensure that they can make it into at least the play-in tournament so that they have a chance at the playoffs. But that's going to take a lot. I mean, this is going to be a miracle-type turnaround. They're in a pretty deep hole right now. So... I'm willing to trade pretty much anybody outside of John Moran. Now, Desmond Bain has been having an elite season, so he's a guy who I'd like to hold on to, but if there's good trade options out there, I'm not opposed to trading anyone. So let's go ahead and start it off by looking at Jaron Jackson Jr. trades. Triple J is an 86 overall, meaning that he should hold some value around the league. And a player like Alperen Sengun, a guy who they've been calling Baby Jokic, would be so cool to have on our squad. But in the world of 2K, he doesn't even have crazy value. So I'm wondering if I could put together a different trade package and land Al P while also going out there and keeping Triple J. I mean, a trade like this would be fire, bro. Luke Kennard and a first rounder for Al Perrin? Come on, bro. Yeah, and they take it because they think... Oh, the Grizzlies are going to be so bad. They have an 8-18 and 18 record. Oh, they're, they're in for a surprise. We're about to make a historical turnaround. Now, I would like to add some more young talent to this team in the event that we don't win the chip this year. I'd like to go for it next year. So having players who can grow and develop with our squad is definitely a point of emphasis for me right now. So looking at players around the league who are under 23 years old, you've got a guy like Zion. I mean, he's intriguing just because it's 2k you know and he's not going to get injured and he'd be so cool to watch alongside John ja Moran I mean I'm not going to offer too crazy of a trade package but I'd offer some furs with Jaron Jackson if that's something that uh the Pelicans are interested in I'd be willing to go forward with that trade package I give them Four first and Triple J. Okay, they're, they're not going to go for that. And, you know, I understand, I guess. That's fine. We'll go ahead and move on from that trade. A guy like Tyler Hero, he kind of would be redundant because we have Desmond Bain. He kind of does the same thing Desmond Bain does. I'd argue that Bain's a better player at this point in time. Franz Wagner would be really cool on our basketball team. He'd be an interesting player to add. So how, how would we go out and do that? We don't really have to match salary too, too much. We could throw Marcus Smart and then also maybe a first rounder. We'll do two first rounders and Marcus Smart. Let's see what they say. They say no. That, that makes sense. I mean, Franz is a valuable player. Player, but after three firsts, they're going to say yes. So now we have a starting five of Ja, Triple J, Sangoon, Bain, and Franz. That's beautiful. Now I just want to help out the bench. Now I actually tried to do this sim one time before, and Jalen no Jalen Noel was really good. The only issue was the roster that I downloaded or the share scenario I downloaded so that we would be at the modern day because 2K actually doesn't have a start today in the game, but some people have made their own. Anyway, the one that I downloaded had like a bunch of inaccurate overalls and I didn't even notice till I was like deep into the rebuild. I was kind of rushing to get it started. I got off to a slow start to my day. It's already 1130 and I barely got anything done, man. But that brings me to my point. When I sim the season last time, Jalen Noel was actually pretty solid. So he might be a guy that we hold on to to be our backup point guard. Uh, Xavier Tillman, he'd be decent as a backup center. And then Brandon Clark and Steven Adams are currently on the mend from injury. So we're kind of waiting on those guys. But if we could do like, I don't know, what, what should the trade package be? We could use a decent backup four. How about Zaire Williams, David Roddy, and our last first round pick? Can that give us... Ooh, ooh, John Collins and Walker Kessler. That might be the offer we take unless something else crazy pops up. Yeah, we're, we're taking this trade, bro. You don't have to show me anything else. All right, so now let's see what our lineup's looking like. We've got Ja, Bain, Franz, Triple J, Sangoon, Walker Kessler, John Collins, Santi Aldama, Jalen Noel, and Xavier Tillman. So we've got too many centers now because Walker Kessler's coming off the bench. So we can trade Xavier Tillman for like a two. Him and D. Rose... Can we get a decent backup two guard? Maybe like a 77, something like that. It doesn't look like it, but Malik Beasley will have to do the job, I guess.
guess, you know, he'll be fine as a shooter off the bench. He's been having a hot year shooting the ball. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it off. Let me just show you all the rotation one more time. Team is looking pretty good. I'm excited to see how this goes. Man, I was so locked in on that rebuild. Now I get to get to what really matters, you know? The Yap Session, of course, bro. Y'all have been telling me in the comments y'all mess with the Yap Session, which, I, you know, I really appreciate. My, I, I don't do anything too crazy or too extravagant in my life, but ma maybe that's what makes it interesting. I'm really just talking about normal day-to-day -day occurrences. So let, let me tell y'all about my day yesterday. I had a realization. I'm an old head. Bro, me and my friend were walking through Walmart. And the thing I love about Walmart is there's just such a variety and stuff. You can be in one aisle, you're looking at rotisserie chickens. The next aisle, they've got uh, freaking toilet paper. And then the next aisle, there's Christmas wrapping paper. And then there's Xboxes and TVs. Like They, they got fireworks somewhere in the back. They got bicycles. Like, bro, it's ridiculous the variety of things they have at Walmart. But with that said, I was walking through Walmart. I had bought a protein shake that cost $4 which is just ridiculous. I, I can't believe I paid $4 for a protein shake, but I was drinking my protein shake, walking through Walmart, and bro, I, I saw these like wipes, right? And they were for your for the glass on your car. And let me tell y'all, I was geeking. And you're like, bro, that's the most old head thing ever. That's what I'm saying, bro. I found these glass wipes for my car that can, I can wipe off the glass and it's not gonna leave any handprints or anything. And I'm like, man, this is gonna have the glass on my car looking real spiffy. And I just felt like an old head because I was actually like excited about that, which just seemed weird to me. But I don't know, you young guys wouldn't understand. The older you get, the more excited you get about things like your credit score and, and silly things like that, you know what I mean? But those things are important as you get older. Anyway, I was also playing Minecraft with my friends and bro, I got exploded by a creeper. I was so sad because I was in a cave, right? And I had got a good amount of iron. I had about a stack of iron on me, right? I have full iron armor, diamond sword, diamond pickaxe, about 10 diamonds in my inventory, enough food to feed a small family for a good minute in my inventory as well. I had my, all my stuff in my inventory, right? And then I hear that little hissing noise and I'm like, uh-oh, bro, it was a creeper. And the creeper came up behind me, boom, bro, it exploded. I had full iron armor on, mind you, right? I'm dead, immediately. I, I, I had full health, full iron armor, and, and it was over, bro. And I was so far away from where I had spawned, I, there was no way I was getting back to it, so I logged off. I hopped on 2K with my friend, we started running play now, right? And oh my goodness, I got to set down the controller for this one, bro. Let, let me tell y'all, I was giving my friend the business with Steph Curry. It, it was ridiculous. So we play like two minute quarter quick games on All-Star, right? And bro, I dropped 50 on him on two minute quarters on All-Star. I know y'all see me playing on the PlayStation and I'm trash, but I've told y'all before, I'm new to this console. I don't even know all the buttons for real, right? But on Xbox, that's my home territory. And I was greening up on Xbox, bro. Let me tell y'all, I, I had, we were playing on All-Star, which isn't a crazy difficulty by any means, you know? Y'all can call me trash. I'm not saying I'm a future 2k league recruit or anything right but I, I was going crazy i had d low and ad on me i i just said you know what why not pull it it's green limitless range steph curry i was comp bro i was going crazy we went to double overtime in this game right it's lakers versus warriors of course i had the warriors because i was giving bro the business with curry but he was coming right back at me with lebron james and y'all know Bron in the world of 2k is ridiculous he's ridiculous in real life but in 2k he's a whole different beast so he was bulldozed into the rim with my glorious king absolutely cooking right so it comes down to it we're in double overtime and since we played two minute quarters the overtimes were only one minute right and in overtime i had shot like this deep three right and he fouls me on the deep three and i was going to the line but he got mad and rage quit because I, I was giving him the business you know but the amount of fouls that happen on jump shots this year in 2K gameplay is absolutely outrageous. Let me tell y'all, man. <laughs> it, it is insane. But anyway, we're doing pretty well right now. We're at the 10 seed, which means we will be a playing team. Now, I'd like to make it to the 7 or 8 seed because then we would be in a situation where we only have to win one game in the playing tournament instead of back-to-back -back games in the playing tournament to make it into the playoffs. We just jumped up to 9th. Let me see where things are at with the standings. We're actually above 500 right now. 
34 wins, and we maybe could catch up to the Mavs. We, we've really got to go crazy, though, and low-key, like, be close to winning out. Maybe not winning out, winning every game, but we, we got to win a lot of basketball games is basically what I'm saying. If we could somehow end the season around, what, maybe 45 wins, I think we'd be in a spot where we probably make it into the playoffs uh, or make it in as, like, a 7 or 8 seed in the play-in tournament. We'll see how it goes. Well, it looks like we're going to finish out the season with 41 wins, 41 and 41 record, the definition of mid. It's going to be enough for us to make it into the play-in. We got the Warriors in round number one. I'm going to simcast both these play-in games because th these are very important. And oh my goodness, dog, we're getting cooked by the Golden State Warriors, bro. GG's. We get absolutely curb stomped by Steph Curry and the Warriors. Straymon gave us 23 points. That might be a career high man oh my goodness yeah so we do end up losing now let me check out the player stats for the season so i know who's about to get traded this offseason ja was good bain was good as i expected he shot the ball well so that's what we need from him triple j he was pretty solid uh, actually uh, i don't know man 30 percent on five three-point attempts is kind of outrageous franz was also pretty terrible so that yeah those guys might get might get traded now sangoon seems like he did his job pretty well john collins was actually really solid jalen noel uh, he was better in the other sim i swear uh, santi aldama did pretty good walker kessler he was solid uh malik beasley eh, you know he didn't play that much oh but he shot the ball well in the minutes that he got so nobody played like too too bad the two players i'm really looking at are franz wagner and uh jaron jackson jr is the two guys who kind of sold I just had to get a glass of water real quick, bro. I don't think I drank any water today. I drank a glass of milk this morning. It was pretty good. All right, anyway, we don't have any picks in this year's draft, so we're really just going to have to rely on, uh, I don't even know, man. We, we don't have picks. We, we don't have a ton of things we can do to improve. I might look at Triple J trades like I was saying, but overall, we need some development from our guys. That's what's going to be really pivotal. Steven Adams is back from his injury, so I'm going to trade him now. Now, in real life, you can actually trade players whenever they're uh, whenever they're injured, but in 2K, you can't do it. So, yeah, he's back. We're playing with injuries off, but the roster had some injuries on to start with that they had already added. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, this is a good trade. Looking at uh, John Collins' trades. This one's not bad. We get Gafford and Mitchell Robinson. We could probably trade Gafford and get our picks right back. We could probably get two first easy for Gafford. And then Mitchell Robinson comes in at an 83. Ooh, Trey Murphy and Vooch is interesting. I guess the Pels made a move for Vooch during the season. He wouldn't be a bad piece. Uh, I know that uh, Hamey Hawkes, he's a guy who a lot of people are really high on. Don't really know why the Heat would trade him, though. You know what? We're going to do the Gafford and uh, Mitchell Robinson thing, which leaves us with a lot of centers. That's fine, though. We could either experiment with like sliding some of them to power forward. That, that doesn't seem to really help. But I did kind of get Gafford with the idea of trading him for some more draft capital. Did that say Brook and a first? Yeah, we'll do that because I can probably just take Brook and trade him for, yeah, 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 man. It's too easy at a certain point. It, it's just too easy at a certain point. So we get some first for Brook Lopez. We're fine at the center position. We got three centers who I feel like we can really trust. I probably want to bring back Walker Kessler rather than bringing back Mitchell Robinson. So maybe we could use a Mitchell Robinson trade as a way to improve at another position. How about the backup PG? We could use a decent backup PG. I mean, we might be able to get somebody crazy with this trade package we're offering right now. I'm not really too sure. Not really any point guards available, though. I saw Alex Caruso. He could be decent as a role player, but he isn't as impactful in 2K as he is in real life. So you know what? I might try to find a point guard who I really like and make a move for him. This doesn't really make any sense, but I think it'd be fun. So how, how about LaMelo? I mean, I know we already have Ja, so obviously I wouldn't have LaMelo be a backup, but like, could we do Desmond Bain and then some of our picks for LaMelo? I, I'm just wondering, you know, hypothetically, would they work with me on a trade like this? You know, we, we got we got some other players who we could include. Brandon Clark is back. One star value is just ridiculous. I'll also throw in uh, Santi Aldama. They still say no, but you know what? Oh, who else would I throw in? 
Franz? Would I throw in Franz? Not really, because LaMelo doesn't even make a ton of sense for this team. Malcolm Brogdon, though, he's usually pretty good in 2K. I saw him and thought he could be another option for the team. Would they do this straight up? They say no, but I, 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 dude, do I include a first rounder? I don't feel like I really need to. I'd include like I, I'd include Brandon Clark if they want him. Bro, are you kidding me? I, I want to overpay in this trade. I'll give him Aldama, I guess. All right, cool. So they'll take that. Now we get Brogdon. I think he should be a very serviceable backup one for us. So I definitely like that move. Bro, Jacob Gillier is real mad. Anyway, we yeah, we need a backup two as well. We, we need quite a few different backup positions. We could probably... We could probably trade Brandon Clark in an effort to get a backup shooting guard. I think that that's probably the move we do there because uh, Malik Beasley's about to become a free agent, and I don't think we have bird rights on him, so we kind of got to consider that. Duncan Robinson wouldn't be bad. He would be more of a small forward for us, but we could probably slide him to the two guard, and we get a first-round pick. You know what? We'll go ahead and take that. Duncan, he can't play the two, but I think we also need a small forward, and it seems like some of our guys were struggling shooting the ball, so hey, maybe Duncan can help us in the shooting department. Now, let's go ahead and head to team player options. We got Walker and Jake Laravia. We'll go ahead and let go all those guys on the qualifying offer. And then we've got about $10 million to spend in free agency. I know we need a backup four. You know what? We'll throw, oh yeah, we'll throw Kyle Anderson a minimum to be our backup power forward. That is fine by me. And then what other positions do we need? We need a backup two guard, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, no, I'm on the team rosters. I'm trying to look at free agents. We'll go ahead and offer Gary Harris a three-year boom. All right, great. That, that, that solves our roster. Boom. Man, team is looking really nice. Only thing I was hopeful of was that uh, our guy Walker Kessler would go up a little bit in overall, but I guess that didn't happen. Also, Sangoon didn't even go up. Duncan Robinson's going down. Huh. Well, some of our some of our additions maybe aren't panning out the way we wanted to, but I'll go ahead and start the season, get things going, simulate, and then once the season's a little bit underway, I'll see how things are going for the team and decide from there if we need to make any changes. I don't want to do anything just yet if the team gels well together. We didn't get a full season of this Grizzly squad on the same team, so we haven't really gotten a feel for how everything's going to look. All right, so we're doing pretty well. We're the four seed right now, which is fine, but I think we could be better. Maybe it starts with picking up a guy like Earl Jenkins out of free agency. Decent little piece to add to the team, and then we can go ahead and try and maneuver in the trade market. So what I want to see is who's performing well for me, who's underperforming. Also, maybe we have some uh, contract extensions we could look at. doesn't look like we have that, but I do want to see who's performing well, who is underperforming, like I was saying. So let's go to season stats. It looks like John Moran is definitely doing his thing. Franz is just not as efficient as I would have hoped. The three-point shooting's not good. Now for Ja, he can't he can't throw a rock in the ocean right now either. But you know, we'll give him a pass because he's Ja Morant. He can go down the lane and really boom on you. But and also Jaron, he's he's kind of shooting the ball a little bit better. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon hasn't been as good as I would have hoped. That there's a lot that we could do here. So let's start it off with Franz, bro. I'm disappointed in him. Now, I think we could pair him with Duncan and a first and get some crazy in a trade. We could get Chris Middleton and Bobby Portis. Oh, 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 oh. Now, now this type of move would be all in. Like, we got to win this year. But, I mean, the fun guy, are you kidding me? He, he could be an option. D Fox pops up in the trade. Oh, dude. Mikhail would be perfect. He, he might be the guy. He might be the guy. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely the guy, isn't he? I think, I think, yeah, I think we got to do the, the Mikhail Bridges. I know there's some better offers, but bro, Mikhail on this team, two-way wing, perfect. Awesome. All right, so we'll take Mikhail. And then Jaron. I might look at Jaron trades just to see what we have in the trade finder. I'm looking for a better power forward if we are going to be trading Jaron. What's Spicy P been doing? Uh, yeah, he's been worse than Jaron this season. I'm not really seeing anything in the Triple J trade market, so I would be fine with holding on to bro. And then maybe we look at like Desmond Bain just to see what's available. You know, I'm just trying to survey all my options. Oh, Kawhi, the fun guy pops up again. I also saw Trey Young in there. Trey, he's crazy in the 2K simulation. So maybe he's a player who we heavily consider. He's averaging 27 a game, which is ridiculous. 
Now, Trey at the two guard's kind of ridiculous. Like, the defense would suck, but it's 2K. Let's just do it, bro. Let's just do it. We move Trey to the two, have Ja play the one. Oh, my gosh. Wait, no, no, no. We have Trey play the one, Ja play the two, because Trey's a really good playmaker. We got Mikhail at the three. Oh, my gosh. This team is beautiful. And then we could use maybe, like, a different backup point guard, just a different look at the backup PG, because, I mean, as, as good as Malcolm Brogdon, like, the idea of him was, it just seems like he hasn't been able to live up to the expectations that I have for him. Now, I'm not really seeing any trades that would make us better, but let me see where we're at right now. We got our point guards. At the two, we're good. At the three, oh, yeah, we need a small forward. We got a lot of power forwards right now. So, oh, and we got multiple centers, so we could actually do something here. How about we do Earl Jenkins, who we sign, and then Nurkic, and if we could just get a decent backup small forward, that would really be ideal for us right now. Uh, let me see what pops up here. I don't need centers, bro. <laughs> They're offering me every center in the game. We could get Colin Sexton and a first rounder. You know what? I'll just take this and hopefully we can trade up from Sexton and this first rounder and then go ahead and get a small forward for the squad. That's what I'm hoping. Cam, Cam Johnson, that's perfect. Yeah. And we get a first round pick. We slide Cam Johnson over to the small forward that works out well and then we're good at the two good at the three good at the four and we're good at the five all right cool so that's what we needed and now the team is looking crazy man we put together an absolute squad here in memphis i'm proud of what i've been able to do in this rebuild so far and i think with those couple moves we should be championship contenders I don't know if I already said this, but if I didn't, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel recently, man. It has been ridiculous. Bro, we're having videos hit like 7,000, 8,000, 10,000 views. It's insane, man. I mean, we, we just got started over here on this channel. And what's so fire about it is I just get to come on here, play 2K, talk to y'all like I would talk to my friends when I'm playing 2K, rebuild teams, which I enjoy doing. I mean, this, this, this is just so much fun, bro. I love it. The main channel videos, of course, are fun as well. But the one thing that I... I just despise about making videos is editing, bro. I get so bored. But on this channel, I just get to record and post, which is incredible, man. So thank you guys so much for this opportunity. It's incredible that I just get to wake up each day and make YouTube videos, bro. So yeah, man. Love you guys, bro. For real, for real. It means a ton to me that I get to do this. And I don't want y'all to get the impression that I'm like taking it for granted or anything. And even if I don't answer your comment, I probably read it. I read like pretty much all the comments every single single day I try to go through them and if I didn't answer that's my bad but I do try to answer anyway let's get to these playoffs we only won 48 games I expected us to be better but I guess we'll just have to work with what we got we we're going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder in round number one and oh we lost in seven I should have slowed it down but they ended up beating us 119 to 107 Cam Johnson our leading scorer in a game seven yeah that's not gonna cut it man we need somebody to step up we need our star player John Morant to step up or Trey Young we need him to do his thing something like that man we, we need to be better Yo, you know what I just noticed? Do y'all see how both Javari Smith Jr. and Tari Eason are holding the same number jersey? How does that work? I, I don't really... Oh, it's because it was the 2022 draft. Never mind, I'm stupid. All right, let, let's just push past that because I, I just look real dumb for that one. All right, Walker Kessler, Jake LaRavia will accept those team options. And we got to bring back Jalen Johnson and Sangoon, which we'll most definitely be doing. Anybody else we got to bring back? Uh, Brogdon. He doesn't want too crazy uh, money, though, so that's fine. We'll bring back Sangoon on the five-year. We'll bring back Jalen Johnson on the five-year. Always better to offer the long-term contracts, in my opinion. And, yeah, we're getting all those guys back, which is awesome. I like – actually, I don't really care too much about Kyle Anderson, with all due respect. I would want to bring in maybe somebody else at power forward, though. How about a Trey Lyles? That's fine. Four-year contract. Just accept it, bro. Cool. So we'll go ahead and bring in Trey Lyles to the team. And now, after player progression, here's what we're looking like. We got our point guards, Trey Young and Brogdon. Two guards. We got, uh, we need a better backup too, for sure. 
at power forward we're looking really good and at center we're also looking good so i think we could definitely use a better backup two guard for sure so maybe a package of like jalen johnson or trey lot we could do trey lyles and then also gary harrison hopefully that would get us somebody decent at the two guard i'm not asking for anybody crazy i just need somebody who can play it seems like finding two guards is tough but march on he, he he can do the job for sure all right great now we have our two guard at small forward we're good at power forward we're good center we're good and then the one other thing is i was talking about this last year but now brogdon regressed a little bit more we just brought him back but i, I would like to trade him we could get bones we could get Jaden hardy i think hardy's a bucket in the simulation let me see what he's been averaging 17 uh, the efficiency suck though so maybe, maybe that's not the move andrew nemhard what's he been doing oh he sucks too uh man why why they got everybody so cooked in the simulation i don't i don't understand kobe white is he efficient oh he's actually pretty nice maybe kobe white is the move i feel like i don't really ever trade for kobe white we could get josh christopher and zubak you know what we'll get josh and zoo and then that way we can take why, why are you already mad what you mean outrage you just got here all right well we'll go ahead and trade him and zoo and we should be able to get somebody decent who can play the two for us uh i saw man grady dick doesn't develop well in this at all does he we could get uh quentin grimes what, what what's kevin herder been doing he can shoot it yeah uh quentin grimes kind of been bad so we'll go ahead and get uh kevin herder wait didn't we need a point guard oh my gosh danny what are you doing oh my gosh all right well that that whole thing was for nothing i, I got completely uh confused and traded for a two guard instead of a point guard and point guards are usually easy to get easier to get than uh two guards anyway and now i can't find a point guard oh my gosh what what great uh what great maneuvering i've been doing in all these trades man uh, kevin herter can you just play point guard for me please can one of my two guards play point guard uh kevin herter goes down i mean ja obviously can but that's not what i want him to do you know what kevin just play point guard you you'll be fine all right let's go ahead and get to the season hopefully we can win a championship this year all right, we're well, well. Apparently, I'm the worst GM of all time. We are 17 to 19, dog. I don't understand how this team is 17 to 19. I think that maybe it's the Trey and Ja thing, like running Ja at the two guard. It's kind of a weird fit, maybe. That that's my theory. Also, Ja just hasn't been as good as I would have hoped. His three point shooting, but like Trey and Ja are good. So is that really the thing? You know what? I've seen Click Productions do this. So let let me go ahead and do it. Let me go over here go to how do you even do this is it advanced stats yeah you go to advanced stats i think and it's like estimated wins added is it somewhere over here i, I don't know how he does this so bear with me for a second yep there it is okay so it's ja it's it's sangoon trey young walker kessler okay so all, most of our guys are positive kevin herter isn't that good it looks like Bo champ isn't that good so it looks like our best players are adding the most wins and then like the lower overall players are adding less wins. Now, Jaron, for being an 87, it seems like isn't doing too much in that category. So is he a guy that we look at trading based off of that logic? That's, I, I guess, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how that stat works, but we'll try it because what we're doing right now isn't working. We could get Keegan Murray and Malik Monk. That's actually a really good trade offer. Two really solid younger players. I mean, Murray probably will get a lot better. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Where was it? It was the Kings. We'll go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we'll go ahead and do that trade. Now Keegan Murray is going to be our starting power forward. Also, I wouldn't be opposed to shaking things up with trading Trey Young. Obviously, I want to keep John Moran around here. That's kind of the point, having him in the rebuild, right? But, I, oh, like DeJounte would be a better fit. We trade Trey back to the Hawks to go get DeJounte. Yeah, I think we do this because DeJounte would just be a better fit. It just makes sense. So we'll bring in uh, DeJounte. We'll move Job ja back to the one. That way he can play his natural position. And then we'll move our guy, Kevin Herter, to the two guard. And Malik Monk, we can trade for a good point guard. All right, all right. Everything's starting to come together now. Awesome, awesome. Quick would be a good point guard. Is, is he our best option? It's looking like it's so far. Yeah, we'll go get Quick. He can run the point guard. That, that makes a lot more sense. Now, we've got our twos. We've got our ones. We've got a lot of two guards, actually. We've got our small forwards. we got our power forwards. Let, let's go. Let's go. That, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. We're locked in now. I was just thinking about this. I don't know if y'all have seen some of Med's recent videos, but bro, 
That man is on a different level when it comes to the My NBA content. I kind of make different content compared to what he does, of course, because, bro, the way he edits, I, I don't even know how to approach that type of thing. But the way he does it, it's incredible, bro. The storytelling, the editing, I love watching those videos, man. So props to him. He, he does a lot of great stuff. I've talked to him a bit in, like, the Twitter DMs or whatever. He seems like a really cool guy. So, you know, I I guess keep it up. I mean, he probably doesn't need my uh, stamp of approval or anything, bro, because obviously he, he knows what he's doing. And it seems like right now he's pretty much at the top of, like, my NBA YouTube. His videos are pulling crazy views, which, which is awesome for him, man. It's really cool to see. I don't know if y'all know, but he actually used to do my team videos. That's where I uh, originally started watching his content. He made some really cool my team videos. Now he moved over to like the my league, my NBA stuff. And I mean, he's just obviously going crazy with it. One day, I hope to hit 100k subs like like he's done. Dula has also hit 100k subs on YouTube doing like the my NBA type of content. So hopefully one day I can do it. Of course, click. I talked about him yesterday, bro. Literally the inspiration for doing this content. King of the fourth quarter, another one of the inspirations for doing this content. Those are the two guys who really inspire me to go into this lane of making these 2K videos. Like I, I never really imagined myself doing something like this, but Man, here I am because I watched those guys and I was like, man, this content would be really fun to make. And here we are. I'm 30 minutes into a video rebuilding, rebuilding the Grizzlies. I'm getting to have yap sessions. I'm getting to make trades and just have fun. So it's awesome where I'm at right now, man. I, like I said earlier, I'm really grateful. All right, so our season is wrapped. We went 46 and 36 on the season. John Morant, he ends up making the All NBA second team. I'm hoping the moves we made were going to be enough to turn the season around. Round number one, we're taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Dog, dog, I I'm Wash, the Celtic Shack of rebuilds, dog. That that's what y'all got to start calling me because it's not looking good right now. How do we keep losing? Every single year, the team should not be this bad. Like, at least in my mind, I feel like I've put together a really good team. But maybe I'm bugging. I mean, we got Ja. We got Mikhail. Like, the depth is crazy, too, dog. Like, do y'all see the squad? Come on, now. I don't understand how we're this bad. But anyway, let's go to team player options. We'll take Bogey's team option, but not not because we want him. I'm a trade bro, like, straight away because, oh, no. He doesn't even have value. Nobody even wants him. And we have nothing we can attach in a trade to, like, make him have more value you know what maybe if we do him and Jalen Johnson we could get somebody nice at power forward while also dumping off uh this money that I don't want we could get Lou Dort Lou Dort's a small forward but maybe we just go ahead and do the trade anyway yeah we'll just do it and then I'll move Cam Johnson back to the power forward where he was originally I'm basically just doing that because we got a lot of qualifying offers this year, a lot of players who I have to pay this offseason, so I want to be able to do that without really worrying about it. Oh my gosh, dog. We got a lot, a lot of players I got to pay this offseason. So first, I'm going to offer Keegan Murray. He should be a big priority. I'm also going to throw, oh, Mikhail's a free agent. We'll throw Mikhail a big offer. It looks like he's coming back for sure. And we'll throw Walk an offer. And then after that, I'll be sure to throw a uh, Herder. And also, who else do we have? Yeah, Bochamp. We'll throw Herder and Bochamp offers as well. Bochamp doesn't want anything too crazy. You know what? We'll give you a five-year. And then we'll throw a Herder. Same thing. If you only want that much, that's fine. We'll throw you a five year oh my gosh dog we we just spent a lot of money in free agency and you know what we'll bring in Thibel we, we'll bring him on in on a two year just in case we want to trade him down the line or something he can just be another piece for the team so there we go we get in Matisse Thibel and now we're all good to go all right let's see where we're at we got quick we got DeJounte we got Herder I, I'm gonna simulate for a little bit this season kind of see how things go get a feel for the team and what they're doing and then I'll probably make moves at the deadline because obviously we weren't good enough if we didn't end up winning the championship last year I mean we were well short of it we ended up losing in the first round all right, so here we are. It's January 7th. We're 25 and 11. Not too bad at all, but the Rockets are better. So we got to do something just to improve a little bit. Mikael Bridges, I would be willing to trade him if we could get somebody who's in the 90s. De'Aaron Fox pops up. Kyrie and Derek Lively. That's a ridiculous offer, bro. I mean, it's not really what I'm looking for necessarily, but I feel like we could maneuver off of this and do something. So you know what? We're going to take it, right? And then we throw Kyrie back in the trade finder. I'm hoping we can get somebody who's around the same overall. We could get uh, Shaden Sharp 
and we can move him to small forward potentially. Maybe that's the move. We could get Markin in, which is also an option there. We could get D Fox and Josh Christopher. But you know what? I'm going to take the Shaden Sharp trade, right? Then we take Sharp. We slide him over to small forward. He actually goes up in overall. So I think that's a pretty nice upgrade there. And then we've got too many centers. So we throw Walker and Derek Lively in the trade finder together. And we could get a better center like Mark Williams. And we also get Dayron Sharp in that trade. There's Bryce James. Look at that. That's cool. Anyway, uh, we could get ooh, Jared Allen. Yeah, is Jared Allen the guy? You know what? Just a nice little upgrade to center. Let's get Jared Allen. Cool. All right, so that's just some solid upgrades to the lineup. I'm happy with how things turned out there. Let's go ahead and get to the end of the season, man. Just made a couple quick, cool moves, and let's get this chip. It looks like the trades helped, but apparently the Western Conference is just crazy because we've got 50 wins already, and we're still only the number three seed. Also, I saw Tyrese Halliburton in the new ratings update is up to a 94 overall, so that, that's pretty crazy to see, man. Congrats to Halliburton. He's been playing some great basketball. One of my favorite recent moments from him is when he hit that clutch three in the in-season tournament against the Bucks, and he did the uh, Dame Time celebration. That, that was pretty fire. But anyway, we're about to get to the playoffs. Can we at least maybe jump up to the second seed? Let's see. Oh, we're right there with the Rockets. So maybe we could potentially pass them. Come on, let's win out and get that second seed. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, no, we still finished in third. Shout out to the Joker. He won MVP. The Joker wins a lot of MVPs in this sim. I mean, rightfully so. He's good at basketball. So 58 wins, only good enough for the three seed. Competitive Western Conference for sure. Round number one, we're going to be taking on the Phoenix Suns. At least let us get out the first round this time. Yes, we do. All right, now we've got the Rockets in round number two. A really good Rockets squad. I think our team definitely competes with theirs, though. I mean, we've got a lot of great players. Game number one of the series goes to Houston. Game two also goes to Houston. We're going to take game three and game four. Game five also goes to us, and we beat them in six. So now we got to take on the Oklahoma City Thunder with SGA and Chet. But they're not as good as they usually are. So you know what? We'll take it. Game number one of the series goes to the Thunder. Game two also goes to, okay, okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't. We're going to take game four, and we lose in five. All right, so I guess OKC not being as good as usual did not matter at all. All right, so now we're going to run it back one last season to see if I can complete this rebuild and win the Grizzlies an NBA championship. The fact that I've been playing this game for about an hour and I can't win a team that already has a superstar a championship is absolutely pathetic. But you know what? I I'm going to keep trying. So let's go ahead and head to team player options. We won't have any rookies or anything. We don't have any team player options or qualifying offers, but we should have some players we have bird rights on to bring back. Yeah, quickly. We'll give him a five-year. And then Cam Johnson. He wants a minimum? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring back Cam Johnson for sure. We'll bring him back on the four-year minimum. We finessed him. All right. So who else can we bring in? Oh, we can bring in DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, we'll bring in DeAndre Hunter. Why not? It's another trade piece. Cool. We've, we've, got some, we've got some hoopers on this team, bro. We've got some hoopers on this team that aren't even really playing. Playing. Okay, so at point guard, we got Quick, we got Ja. I'm happy with that. At the two, we got DeJounte, we got Herder. At the three, we got Lou Dort, DeAndre, or Lou Dort, DeAndre Hunter, and Shaden Sharp. All right, so I think we need to make a move like we did last time where we go ahead and trade like two of our small forwards to get one more better backup small forward. So maybe somebody who's like mid-80s is what I'm looking for here. I don't know if there's any of those options available to us. If there isn't, I might just move on from this trade option, but... You know what? Might as well try. I'll throw in a second round pick. I see an 83, but it's Zubat or it's Zubat. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really seeing anything. So you know what? We'll get to the trade deadline. There might be more options available then. All right. So we started off the season nine and zero, but since then it's been kind of rough. I mean, we're 24 and 15. Rockets are crazy. 34 and 7 on the season so far. So we're going to make some changes. I was thinking about like a potential plan of action, you know what I mean, of what we could do. So I wanted to try this Lou Dort and DeAndre Hunter trade package again. But if that doesn't work, well, we could get Jarese Walker, who is an 84. That's a little bit of an upgrade. But I think a better way to go about this would be to take guys who aren't playing for us, like for example, Matisse Thibel, and try and trade him for picks if that's an option. It doesn't look like I'm seeing any of those trades anymore, though. Oh. 
I would think a player like DeAndre Hunter, though, would at least be able to get me a first. We could get one first there. You know what? I guess we'll do that because he's not even playing, so you might as well, right? So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll go ahead and we got anybody else who's good but not really hooping for us right now. Malik Beasley. I mean, he's not bad. He's on a minimum. Would somebody throw me a first rounder? Man, I guess first rounders, once you get deeper into the sim, they're harder to come by or something because usually you can just trade some random players and get first round picks but now they're they're a little more few and far between if you will so yeah i guess we just got to keep that into consideration we could trade chuma okiki and maybe uh patrick we could go get another first boom all right so we've got we've acquired a decent amount of picks there maybe like three first round picks we've also got dfs and javon carter if we can just get one more that'd be awesome just give me one more pick come on come on 2k lock in for me give me one more oh my gosh dog Doug. All right. All right. You know what? I guess we'll stop it there. So now that we have these picks, right, we can look at the team, look at the stats of some of our top players. It looks like Shaden Sharp's been incredible. DeJounte's been really good. Sangoon has played his role well. So I'm fine with all those players. Maybe how's uh, Keegan Murray been? Oh, huh. He, he hasn't been that crazy. You know what? How about Keegan Murray and two first round picks? Who could we get for Keegan and a couple firsts? Is there anybody at around like 87? It doesn't look like it. You know what? We might have to go to scouting team intel and see what teams are selling or rebuilding. Clippers, they're rebuilding. They got Scotty Barnes, but he's untouchable. So we'll move on from them. The, the, uh, Oh, what's it called? Oh my goodness, I, I just blanked. All right, the Celtics, they got Jalen Brown and KP, and they're a rebuilding team, so maybe that's a team we talk to, but I'm kind of looking for players who are maybe in like the mid-90s, really. I, I need somebody crazy so we can have that like legitimate second star. Oh my gosh, the Warriors have Luka and Tatum. That is insane. Uh, the Blazers don't really have anybody I'm interested in. The Thunder, they have Shea is untouchable. Yeah, it looks like most of the big, big stars of the league are untouchable right now. You know what? Cade Cunningham is available right now. The Pistons are buying, so I'm guessing their asking price would be high for a player like Cade, but he might be a guy we look at. Paolo in Brooklyn. Paolo's interesting for the Nets. At the four? Yeah. Yeah, because Murray, we're looking for a better power forward anyway. So if we call up the Nets, talk to them about Boncaro, we need to match some salary. Hopefully that's not a problem. Who do we include here? I would be willing to give y'all Lou Dort to match salary. And then we just acquired all those picks. So I'll give y'all like three first. What did they say to that? They still say no. Well, I got another one if they want, I, I think. Yeah, we got one last first. They still say no. Okay, so the Apollo thing, it looks like it's not happening. All right, well, I think there was another player. Yeah, Cade Cunningham, big guard. So I think he could fit alongside John Morant if we try something like that. So I could do Lou Dort and Keegan Murray for Cade. What do they say? They say, no, that's fine. I'll throw in another first. Uh, they might they might not take this. They really might not. I'll throw in three first. They still say no. How about a fourth? They still say no. All right, so it looks like that is not happening either. So it seems like the more I try, there just isn't really an avenue for us to improve this team in a big way which sucks man because i've went out i've acquired some more trade assets in an effort to try and help us improve the team i mean maybe a guy like jerace walker is an improvement for the squad we slide him to the small forward he goes down keegan murray goes up at the three so maybe we do that yeah okay you know what maybe in an effort to make keegan play better we play him at the three or maybe in an effort to increase his trade value he goes up and overall at the three How, how's laurie been doing uh yeah he's not really that good either if we could get somebody else jalen duran's a dog bro yeah i mean the stats aren't crazy they used to be crazy I swear in the simulation, but he's incredibly efficient. So you know what? We'll take uh, we'll take him, and then we'll move Jerace over to the uh, to the three, and we'll play Jalen Jalen Duran at the four. All right, yeah, I guess that's how we're gonna run it. It's gonna be a little weird for sure, but it is what it is. We'll see how this season goes. Hopefully, wait. It says we have too many minutes at the center position, so let me see if there's something I can do about that. If we move Pirtle to the four, that should solve that problem. All right. Yep, that's going to be the rotation. All 80-plus players, really good starting lineup, 87-plus in the starting five. Let's get to it, man. I've got a good feeling about this one. Big Ja wins MVP. Come on, this has to be our year, you know what I mean? Because Ja Morant won the MVP. 58 wins, ended off the season on a five-game win streak. Round number one, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. Please, let's make it easy. All right, great. Round number two, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're better now. Like, I, I can 
confidently say we are a better basketball team. Game number one goes to us. Game two goes to the Thunder. Game three is going to go to us. We're tied up in two apiece. Game five goes to OKC. Oh my gosh, man. I, I tried my best. I'm sorry, guys. I've let you down. Tomorrow, I'm dropping a 2K14 Lakers rebuild. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.